John Nichols leads Carlton. Along with first ruck partner Sergio Silvani, Nichols is playing in a VFL Grand Final for the fourth time. Ron Barassi, on the verge of completing his second three-year term with Carlton, has an added incentive to steer his team to victory. The 1970 epic, in front of over 121,000, has often been described as the most remarkable grand final in history. Trailing Collingwood by 44 points at half-time, Barassi brought on a blonde-mopped reserve named Ted Hopkins. And the game swung dramatically. It's just one of those games where the ball wasn't running uh, well for uh, Carlton. They looked slow. And, uh, you know, he was a fresh player that had a bit of a reputation for, for nip. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that was me. Guides the ball through for his fourth goal. The 70 Grand Final broadcast to the football world the arrival of the modern game. On Barassi's half-time instructions, Carlton handballed at every opportunity. And again, Collingwood was the victim. Robinson passes to Hopkins, who's in the clear. It's all over, and Carlton wins one of the VFL's most memorable grand finals by 10 points, 17, 9, 111, to Collingwood's 14, 17, 101. Carlton takes the flag for the tenth time in a game which produces the ultimate in Australian football. Sheer determination and all-round brilliance in the final two quarters takes Carlton to the Premiership.